A new day begins a new chapter in their lives as Ben and Pico walk along a dirt pathway. The weather was quite nice for a December afternoon, allowing people to stroll comfortably around the local park. For once, there wasn't anxiety or fear, just a little bit of first impression jitters. Our boys stop under one of the many trees scattered around the park, surveying the area. See them yet? I don't think so. It's already 3.40. They were supposed to be here 10 minutes ago. I'm sure they're just running late. Besides, not like we're exactly on time either. It's unlike Grace to be late, though. Ever since we were kids, she was on time, if not five minutes early. Yeah, I get it. Penny! Oh, there she is. It's so good to see you again. <laughs> you too. So, this is the childhood friend I keep hearing about. I expected more. Hey, watch it. Sven! I'm so sorry, Benny. I promise he's usually friendlier than this. No, no, it's fine. You know, first impressions aren't my strong suit either. I, uh, see you cut your hair. It looks great. Aw, thank you. Sven cut it for me. Are you sure he doesn't bite? I don't like the way he's looking at me or my boyfriend. How about we just go eat lunch? The four sit down, each pair across from one another. The air was uncomfortable, the tension suffocating. So, how did you two meet? Oh, we met like a month ago at the train station. Wow, really? That sounds... Wait, you mean? Hey, you know what? Grace told me a lot about you, Benji. Oh, please. You can just call me Ben. She said you're a pretty good singer. How about a round? Not sure. <laughs> Come on, Benji! It would be a nice way to get to know one another. I don't like the way this is going. I 